Hello and welcome to the Rigometer version 1.0 using Limbo or Duik with a full character tutorial. So you might have just watched the tutorial that we did on Duik and that is how you set up a Duik rig now. Limba and rubber hose work in a slightly different way. When you're building the limbs the same way you would in Duik, for example if you're building from the hips to the midsection of the belly with a hose and you're building the hose from the midsection to the shoulders but the setup is exactly the same and you can always follow the guide for Duik through the guide in here you can always follow this setup and locate where these pieces are on your on your rubber hose rig or limber rig however there is a slight difference when you set up your rig and your character just has solid shapes as the body or the head. Now this setup takes a little bit longer to set up and what we need to do is we need to basically add a few nodes to our character to get it to understand if you was adding from a rubber hose or if you was adding from a juic or you was adding from a limber rig to your character there's a little bit you have to do to make it understand what's going on. So the first thing to note is how rubber hose and limber adds your limbs to the comp is the same in aspects of what you receive. You will always receive two controllers and you will always receive what that piece is. So here is the left leg. And you will always receive these three pieces. So this is rubber hose but this concept applies to limber exactly the same way. So what we need to do is we need to understand where our body is, kind of the dimensions of that body, where the head is, and we need to be able to put this into Rigamator. To do that, the first thing we need to do is actually tie all our limbs to our body. So everywhere that you have shoulder, it's your shoulder joint, and everywhere that you have your hip joint, you need to come along and parent that to your body. Now, your body is moving them limbs around. Then what we need to do is we need to create a few nulls. So the nulls that you need to create, new, null object, and we're gonna call this body base. So this is the bottom of the body, where everything is basically moving from, or the rotation of this object, this body, where does that rotate from? So if in Duik, this would be the hips. I'm going to turn these nulls down to about 40% so we can just understand where they are. There's our null. I'm going to change the hair color to probably a, no, not a blue, bad idea. Let's go for a brown, make it really nice and ugly. Okay, then we need another null. So what I'm going to do is use Command or Windows click D to duplicate it. I'm going to move this null to the center of the body. And what we call this is we call this body center. Okay, body center. Great. We're going to duplicate again, pull this null up even further. And all I'm doing is I'm holding shift when I drag these up so I can get it in a straight line from the bottom as we know that this body shape is straight up. We're then going to change the name and put this as shoulders. Great. Duplicate again. And we're going to drag this up and we're going to call this head base. So this, oh, get rid of that this is going to be known as head base and that's where the head is rotating from so the head will rotate from this point point. and then we're going to duplicate again and call this head tip and we're going to just bring this up to the top of the head so now our character if i just put it on fit is going to have these new nulls added to where the character is. The first thing what we need to do now is now parent these up. So for example the body actually needs to be parented all the way over to the body base. The head needs to be parented to the head base. Great. Now when the body base rotates, the body is rotating. The head base needs to be connected to the shoulders. The shoulders need to connect to the body center. And the body center needs to connect to the body base. Now when you rotate this piece, you rotate the body center, and then you rotate the shoulders, everything is rotating from them points. It's similar to how you would set up a 
Jewick rig not being Jewick. It's just character dynamics. I'm going to hide these. The head tip needs to be connected to the head base. Okay, so once these have all been set up, you're basically ready to go and build your rubber hose or limber body. So, we're going to left click on our character and say the pose check is correct. Great, yes it is. We're going to load up our rubber hose because that's what this character is. We're going to come in and grab the head. Actually, let's start with the arms because that would be a little bit easier to understand. So, the right arm, these are always set to none as there's no way to automatically find them. And the reason why it's been explained in the tutorial, but that is basically because you can name them whatever you like. It's not easy to find them all. So we know that this is the right hand, so we come down to the right arm, and we know that the controller needs to be the place where all the controller effects are, and that is the wrist. The next piece has to be the start of this, so we have the right arm shoulder, and then we set the next bit straight back to the same as the controller, which is the right arm wrist. Right arm wrist, right arm shoulder, right arm wrist. Great. Add it in. It's been added. We're going to do the same for the left arm, by coming down and going left arm wrist, left arm shoulder, left arm wrist. Great. Add it in. We're going to add the feet next. So we're going to say, right, this is the right foot. So we need the right leg ankle. We need the right leg hip and the right leg ankle. Great. Next one is the left foot. So we're going to come in and say, right, the left, we want the left hip. Nope, left ankle. See, sometimes it confuses me too. We need the left hip and then left ankle. That's our left foot, left leg, ankle, left leg, hip, left leg, ankle. Great, that's been added. Now we want to basically create the head, the shoulders, and the spine. So, the head is fairly easy. We're going to come in and we say we want the head base. It's going to be from the head base to the head tip. Basically, they're saying this is our controller for the head because that's where the rotation and everything happens. The head is from here to the head tip. Great, add that in. We then want to come into our shoulders, and we want to go for the controller, we want it to be shoulders. For the starting point, we want it to be shoulders, and then we're going to select body center. What is this point here? Click OK. For the spine, we need to set the controller to the body base. The start of it is body base, and then the end of it is shoulders. Once this has been added, we're going to click OK. And then once this is done, we're going to click OK again. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to name it. We're going to call it Rubber Hose Character. And click OK. Now it's going to build our nodes onto our character and watch the magic happen. There we go. That is our character all built and ready. So our nodes have been added. And if you've been following the series before this, you should actually already have an animation that we saved previously, the running character. If you haven't got that animation, I do advise to carry on with the next steps to go back, grab that animation, and then come back. So, we're going to say that this is on the right side, it's a right-facing character. I know you could say it could be left, or it could be right. I made it right. It's, it's right, I'm, I'm sure. So, it's a right-hand character. We've got all our controllers. We're going to come down to our all, because that's where we saved everything, and this is also going to grab all of the controllers. And grab that and we have a character run with Jewick. So remember when I said that if you have a character made in a different rig, so for example this is a rubber hose, if you add the Jewick rig to this, the settings what are added to your wrist controllers, these here, will not be taken over onto your character run. This doesn't happen because this is a Jewick rig setup. So if I add this animation we'll still get the animation so we would grab it. It would then say error rig mismatch. That means basically you're applying a Jewick rig onto a rubber hose rig. It's not going to carry the effects over. And that's all explained here as well. So it's just for you to know. When you click OK, it's going to apply the animation. And this animation is the same animation taken from your Jewick character and applied to this. In most cases, this is of course going to look fine. As you can see, the actual animation is exactly the same. The neck for this character is much smaller 
than our Duet character, and that's why it's pulling into the body. But you can customize this because it is just the keyframes. And if we play this, it's the same run as what we had on our Duet character, but it's just now on our rubber hose character. Now there is one thing, like I said, the effects are not carried over. So that's when you go into these animation nulls, the effects for these nulls have not been carried over. And that's why like I keep saying, because it's a Duet animation pulled onto a rubber hose character. Now to get rid of this, I'm just going to add a real simple arm animation. Get rid of that. I'm now going to add an arm animation, but like I always do, I'm going to come into here, grab my rubber hose character, and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm then going to rename this character to rubber hose character underscore hand animation. Click OK. We're going to load this one up. And the reason why we're doing this is so we can preserve this character in its purest form. Don't have to mess around with it. We can mess around with this. If we make any mistakes, delete it and start again. We're then going to come into our left arm wrist. Oh, actually, let's do the right arm because it's easier to see. as it's, That's the one that's forward. We're going to add an animation. And it's going to be the world's worst animation. But it's just going to show you an effect. So we grab that, pull that in, I'm just going to do an easy ease. Nice, that's how all professionals work in the industry. F9 easy ease. It's not, please don't follow that information, it's a lie. I'm oh, sorry if anyone took that seriously. So now we have the right arm wrist. So we're going to reload our character because we were on a different comp, this one here. We've now made a new comp. Reload it by using the command or control and click. You would have the current rig rubber hose and it's loaded from this comp. We're going to click the right view, and this time we know that, that we just messed with our right arm wrist. So I'm going to select the right arm controller, because that's all I've animated, that's all I need to grab the animation from. We're going to add the animation in, and we're going to call this a right arm test. No folder, and we're going to add this in, let it load, our right arm, boom, the animation's been added. Now our animation is still here, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to delete it off. I no longer need it on this character as I've saved it. Come over to the start of my comp and I'm just going to apply this rubber hose animation to our character. Let it apply and there we go. Our animation has been added to our character. Same animation. The difference is now in our effects panel we can now access the effects. So what does that mean exactly? So let's say for example for this animation, maybe the arm isn't right. Maybe I want to just tweak this a little bit. I'm going to make it 270. Much shorter arm now. And you see it's changing. It's now a 270 arm. Maybe the bend's too much, so I want to give it a sharper bend. Maybe the bend direction is, you know, great, but I want it to be a little bit straighter. Or reversed. Doesn't matter. Let's do extreme. Let's go reverse. Let's let's make him look like he's running in the wrong direction. So this movement is coming down and it's bending. Now, if we head back over to our right arm wrist, the same what's been added in here. We then have the controls to be able to control the effects. So if I slide this down, it goes back to its original. So the length you can see it slowly changing there has been come over. And the quickest way to see how this effect changes the actual wrist, if I just turn off the effects, you can see that the arm goes straight back to using the effects in the rubber hose too. If I switch it on, it now uses that of the animation controller. But yes, when you're doing this with two different rigs, you'll always get the message, an error message saying there's a mismatch. You'll still get the animation, but you will not get the effects to play with. So that's just something to bear in mind when you're doing a character using rubber hose or limber, they work in the same way, is that you have to make these nulls to make the body and head work if the body and head are solid layers or comps. And that's it. We're all done. We can now delete this animation off the character. Animation's now gone completely from this. We can remove this right arm test because it was a pointless animation. And then we're back to the beginning. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to set up the body and head if they're made with just pure shape objects within 
using limber or rubber hose as your tool.